Greetings, everyone, and great here for another H Bars free replay. Spawn on the south side as the blue Mexicans. We have David in Chan. Spawn on the north side as the red Japanese. We have Katsua Ronin. No deck selected just yet, and no deck selected there either. When it comes to the map, we do have the Mayans to give access to the Polpen Javeliers. And as the other natives, we do have the Zapatok settlement, which does give you access to Jaguar Prowler Knight variants. You can also get an H2 Citadel in both H2, or relatively cheap. A nice cheap 800 resources. Bandit does go down there. And we do actually have a deck selected. A Nomad deck. Got Infinite Wood, Trade Empire, Good Faith Agreements, Implementary Laws, Villagers, Coin, Grind Wagons, Archers, Musketeers, uh, Musketeer Attack, Intrigue, Chariot Orchards, Villagers, More Yumi Archers, Way of the Bow, more Musketeers, Close Combat, Flaming Arrows, Dojo, Ibakafu, more Yumi Archers, more Musketeers, more Flaming Arrows, Mortars, and the 47 Ronin. For the Mexicans, we do have Rush 05, so this is fifth version of his Rush deck. We do not got Villagers, Hacienda, Cathedral Construction, Land Grab, Villagers, Villagers, Wood Coin, Insurgents, Salteros, Trinkos, Machetes, Advanced Arsenal, Thousand Wood, Falconets, uh, Los Colorados, Battalion, 33 Insurgents, Refurbished Firearms, Soldados gain a powerful uh, charge grenade launcher attack, can be used when attacking longer range, Heavy Cannon, Factory, Orfriere Toe, and more Zapdak allies, and we'll set their War Societies to active. And that's actually a team as well. Interesting. I know the Aztec variant, the Infinite One, can give you champion Zapotok allies. Or you can get the larger group of them for only the guard, not, yeah, the, uh, not guard, veteran variant. Asina now pull on a field. He does not have enough food to age up just yet. Monday, Presidente. Israel 09. I have no idea what that was a reference to. And over here, we do have Benke and Ikara Hoshia, which probably is randomly generated name. If you draw not being pulled on out. Japanese player now pulling out the Tory Gates. The Tory Gates will give him a free samurai and military rickshaw. And his point, he is also going for an infinite amount of food crate there. Could probably hold off. I mean, some military laws probably be better. But he's going to get a good. Sh he's going to go for shipment food now. I think he's going to, I to rush out some musketeers. I think he's worried about the Mexican player revolting. Mexicans tend to revolt. He uh, can now advance the Commerce Age. Which state is he going? Attention. And he's going for the Flax Kala. Cathedral Wagon sounds like has been completed. Going for the Gang Saw now. Story gate's almost complete. Does take out some of the local doggos now and steal all of their sticks. We do now have the shrine wagon not being pulled on out. Does not have enough wood for a other barracks, but of course does have the military rickshaw from the age up, which is pulling out barracks, of course. 
I have a feeling it's going to go for a round of musketeers. Does cancel some of those structures there. The fox call is almost complete. Does have bitter resources. Not enough to revolt with. He can't go on down. Military wagon getting up barracks. The fox collar Cora has given him two settlers for existing haciendas and new haciendas, as well as the fox collar lions, which give him a native embassy. Travis able to pull out some conquistadors and get access to some uh, jaguar warriors, which is similar to the jaguar prowler knights, which is native, which means no population. I don't think they access get access to a promotion, so. Samurai moving around. Got now the trading post being built. Got gaslighting now research or improved town watch. There's a gaslight. Now gaslighting's opponent. And now we do have fruit upgrades there. We got good on musketeers being flooding out the field. As a shipment available. Going for a round of soldados, a times two musketeer. It's a group of four on the field. He does have the inspiring flag to support them with a padre in, in general here. That's simply still not enough. Soldados going to get over around. Does take out the samurai. One of soldados do go down. Right now, he needs to count a uh, shipment of saltieros to gauge all these heavy infantry. And now we do have a shipment of villagers. We've got quite a bit of idle villagers there. Hold rush 05, but he's not doing a whole lot of rushing. He's doing a whole lot of being rushed. It looks like he's collecting up resources for a, a revolt now, I'm guessing. He has enough food for a revolt. Bring in Saltieros, cancels the insurgents. Insurgents would not be great in this situation. And there's a revolt going to Baja, California. And he does not get his Saltieros out in time, so he does not get that shipment. He missed time that, so he does have shipment available. May want to go for the Rob Barons. Does, of course, have the Frontier Post Wagons. His opponent has these two trade posts there. He doesn't have these two over here. Of course, now has a bunch of filibusters. There is an outpost there. Filibusters will make short work of the trade posts, being just regular musketeers. Good damage over here. Red's just regrouping. Worry about the revolt. As the revolt of filibusters going for more Yumi archers wouldn't be half bad. He's trying to get a trade post here. Yumi archers being pulled in the field. He needs more wood, less coin. He now has 27 villagers. have them listen charges there they do not do bonus damage or real any sort of real bonus damage all just to show in my opinion so them being classified as a siege unit means they take less damage from outposts don't they yes they do but his opponent doesn't have any, uh, any outposts or castles Baja California. Let's see, he has gone for the Sword and Fortune. Defeating uh, enemies and also reward coin as well as experience. 
You pull out Kit Eye for the Robber Baron to get a factory up and going. And can go for the Baja California territory. And I'll get out some villagers and settler. And go for a Fox Call, I'll get out another pair of villagers along with his uh, other Hacienda. So he has like seven villagers. Going for the Ashkar Musketeer attack. Looks like both sides are being a little bit idle. He may be to age up. He definitely needs to get more wood. He's going for the consulate now. Does have a bit of export to work with. Does not have the black entry. Brian's on the seat. He will be put a pop cap if he lets this go down. Now yeah, got a pair of Falconets and Colburn here. Falconet will cause quite a bit of damage. He got this card from. Not sure what he got it from. Now it's going to go with a traveling merchant. It's good damage here. We'll have a shipment available relatively soon. Now he does. Now going for the factory. He gets a good hit there. The more stuff he kills, the more of gold and coin he will return, receive in return. And Japanese player is just not building any more stuff. He needs more wood at the moment. Bill's just now getting hit there by the cannon. The Japanese player has gone from Japanese isolation. And now the factory wagon's now pulled on the field. And the forward back right there. Yeah, more of the shrines will be very useful putting his point in the top half. Trying to bring in some more club warriors. Those club warriors are a hidden infantry. They're good against structures. Maybe he can send them around the flank, engage his opponent's trade post, and go to his opponent's base. While he's fighting this conflict here, that's the best thing I can see for these units because they're not going to be useful against his against his opponent's composition. Yeah, he's going to go raiding with them. Lou may have seen them; they were relatively close by. Going to be hitting some of the trade posts now. He's also noticed his opponent, his army was pulled back there, so he wants to hit those clubmen. Excuse me. The back entry now being brought on in. I do have a good siege attack at 40. So right now, they're going to be unsupported. Red may have seen these forces. I don't know if these guys have vision range. Starting to get gunned down now. They're trying to fall back. Or... Yeah, they're going to gun down. So two of them remains. <coughs> uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Japanese player can now age up. He is going for the Shogunate. Which will give him, of course, Daimyo and 600 experience. Or, no, 300 experience. Daimyo would be useful. He's going for another round of musketeers. Getting some hits there. Looks like those cannon shots are missing. Wait, are these Quaker guns? Oh, that these are Quaker guns. I'm an idiot. Yeah, the Quaker guns. I am such an idiot. How did I not see that? Red has a sizable army there. Blue's army starting to disintegrate. The Quake guns, of course, are non-existent cannon. Oh. 
uh, ships one random artillery unit and two Quaker guns. Oh, that. So him rolling a culvern was completely worthless. Quaker's gamble. Uh, yeah. That was a gamble, and I just realized how bad that gamble was. Oh. Literally anything would be better than that. Or maybe going for uh, Quaker's Illusion. Thank you for paying my ransom. Now the Quaker's Gamble costs. That was that one. I'm not sure which one he brought in first. So what guns did he get? Got a Quaker gun, Quaker gun, and looks like a. Ooh, we got a horse artillery. Oh, looks like Quaker guns can only don't have a move around mode they don't have a horse strong mode we did get a horse artillery unit which is pretty good except he's completely outnumbered why did he go for that quick that like that just like that's just a such a big gamble there that just not really worth it i don't have any uh faith in quaker guns for good reasons Literally anything would be better than that. I think the coach guns would probably be much better. I guess I have none of these filibusters here. They're going to get gunned down quickly. And I don't see any way the Mexican player can get out of this. Uh... Oh yeah, he's now deleting everything. Turn me forward with the quick guns in the culvern. There's no way he can... Yeah. I think the Mexican player is back on the game now. Yeah, let's, let's fast forward. Okay, oh, still has this trade post over there, and it looks like now the Mexican player does back the game now. Is that great saying thank you for watching? And on to the next replay.